Hey, this is Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery, and today we are in my Sonet Platinum, and we are going to be working with gradients and textures. First of all, I would like you to open up your my Sonet Platinum software and go into blank canvas, and we are going to choose for today a 120 by 120 designer splendid square hoop. Remember, you can make that hoop size any size you want, and if you actually want to do it with inches, you can check down here and do it the exact size. And remember, you can actually say if you wanted a design logo that was two inches, you would do a two and do a shift and the quote sign, and that would turn it into 51 millimeters is 2 inches and so you would do 51 millimeters by 51 millimeters and that would give you a 2 inch by 2 inch square hoop to start your logo with and then you could change it your hoop to any size you wanted but you would have your logo size would be that 2 inch size anyway so there is my 120 by 120 hoop and if we wanted to see what the exact size of it was we can go to the view tab and get the length with the ruler and do a left click and drag it and we can see that that um, embroidery um, area is 4.7 inches so I'm gonna go into the create tab and I'm going to be doing this in the digitizing module. And this is going to be so simple, it's going to stun you. So basically, all I'm going to do is hit cancel here. Actually, yes, I'm going to load a picture and say next because what I what what I did is I went out into Google and I got a silhouette and the discussion that and I've got all kinds of pictures here the discussion that was going on about this topic was about the states and doing a gradient design with the states. So there's the state of Florida and what I would do here is I would go to quick create and I would just des decide what I want for my outline. Did I want a satin stitch or maybe a triple stitch outline? And remember you can change this later if you don't like what you see and then you have your pattern fill and you have choices here if you don't want a pattern fill you click no fill and see how it turns off when it's green it's on and you have all of these choices so right now I'm gonna leave it right on pattern fill and before you start it's always wise to, if you're going to be doing the same pattern throughout a design, you go over here and to the fill area and line, and you can set your pattern that you want to use ahead of time. So maybe you want to just use, oh, let's see, maybe this pattern. So we're going to set that and I'm going to come back into this again in a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the quick stitch and I'm going to click within this uh, silhouette and I can say number of points do I want high low or medium and I'm gonna say low it just 
that's just the number of points it's going to give you. Okay, there's my design. You can see that it does, if, if I go here and I actually look at it, so I went to the Home tab and I look at it in Life View, that's what it would look like. I can right click over here on the film strip and go into properties and I can actually change to a satin stitch if I want and I can vary the width of that satin stitch if I want. So there it is and that is it shown with that satin stitch. So I'm going to leave that there for a minute or two. I can also do a right click and right here is my center of orientation and I can take this toggle and I can change the angle of those lines. I can also, you don't see it too much on this design, but on some of the other designs, when you move the center, of the, the center of the design, it can really make a huge impact on the design. Anyway, if I go a right click one more time, it's going to bring me back into this area where I can make the changes to my width or my pattern fill, but I can also go down here and click gradient. So I can say thread color and I want this one to be a purple. And I want this one to be a red. And I can say I want a marker to be added. And I can move this over here and I can say I want this marker to be blue. And I can add another marker. And I can say I would like this one to be green. And then I can do another marker. And I can say I want this one to be yellow. And now we're going to add another marker. And I'll do orange. And this one is red. Okay. So I can move these markers to change the appearance. But these top ones I can also move. So if I move them really close together, and you say apply, and now you're starting to see, oh, I can't toggle this just yet. Apply, and I say move it this way and apply. 
and move it this way and apply move it this way and apply this way and apply so get in there have fun say okay there you can do that any way you want it's really fun to get in there and play you can also go in and change those textures to anything your heart desires it's kinda cool or you can go in and change to different fills that does not have a radial option but like I said get in there and play um, some of these have radials some of them don't I think it's just, yep, I think it's just the patterns that have the radial fills. Anyway, um, don't be afraid of your software. When you are done messing around with your creation, don't forget to do a file. And generally, I do a save as, and I save it as an EDO file and I save it to my cloud and I make a folder and I call it uh, whatever it is I'm working on and I uh, G -R -A -D -I, edit gradient gradient edit and that means I can go back in and I have the ability to still go back in and mess with this. Okay. Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about. See this square? If you need to um, change an angle or something, if I, you hold down the shift key, it will turn into a, an angle, a direct angle. If you don't do that, it's a curve. That's something that was very hard for me to understand when I first started messing with this stuff. So, um, another thing is when you are done, you export it just because. I know you don't have to in this new program but I do just in case so I call it gradient exported and normally you just close it out and it's in your regular embroidery screen that's why you don't normally have to do the export because it just automatically shows up. This is a very seamless program. I love it. But I tend to bebop around a little bit too much. And sometimes I forget what I'm doing and I'll close out my screen and it's all gone. So I try to make a habit of doing the export just because I don't want to lose my design so anyway um, I hope you've learned something from this and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel leave comments I appreciate that um, I like to know if you're learning something from these and uh, hope to catch you later bye